Hi friends, today we'll be talking about the synthesis of one of the complex uh, kind of amino acids that is the aromatic amino acid which forms the group of essential amino acids. The aromatic amino acids we know includes phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. The benzene ring though is very stable, the aromatic rings are not that readily available in the environment. These have to be synthesized from their aliphatic precursors and this is what is done during the synthesis of these uh, amino acids. So the precursors for this as we know is erythrospore phosphate and phosphoenol pyruvate. These two come up with a ring closure which is followed by stepwise addition of the uh, double bonds. In the overall sequence of uh, seven steps in the formation of chorismate, the first four steps, it results in the formation of shikimate, wherein the PEP and erythrospore phosphate combine together to form this seven carbon intermediate that is shikimate. This shikimate then undergoes three consecutive steps, uh, which also includes the addition of one more uh, phosphoenol pyruvate, which contributes to the next three carbon atoms in the first uh, intermediate to be formed, that is the chorismate. Chorismate, it forms the first branch point of this entire branch pathway. From this, the branches, they diverse. One branch, it goes to the synthesis of tryptophan, whereas other branch, it goes to the synthesis of phenylalanine and tyrosine. Let us have an overview and look towards the synthesis of these three aromatic amino acids. All the carbon atoms in the biosynthesis of chorismate, which is an intermediate in the synthesis of the aromatic amino acids in bacteria and plants, are derived either from erythrospore phosphate or phosphoenol pyruvate. In the first step of synthesis of chorismate, PEP combines with erythrospore phosphate in the reaction catalyzed by 2-keto-3-deoxy-D-arabinoheptyloxonate 7-phosphate synthase forming 2-keto-3-deoxy-D-arabinoheptyloxonate 7-phosphate. This is then acted upon by dehydroquinate synthase which catalyzes the cyclization and formation of 3-dehydroquinate. The 3-dehydroquinate is acted upon by 3-dehydroquinate dehydratase, which catalyzes dehydration or removal of water to form 3-dehydroshikimate. The 3-dehydroshikimate undergoes reduction, catalyzed by the enzyme shikimate dehydrogenase. The shikimate dehydrogenase catalyzes the reduction with NADPH and H plus as the cofactor. The NADPH and H plus gets converted to NADP plus and results in the formation of shikimate. Shikimate undergoes phosphorylation with ATP in the reaction catalyzed by shikimate kinase forming shikimate 3 phosphate. The shikimate 3 phosphate then undergoes addition of three more carbon atoms from phosphoenol pyruvate to form 5-enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate. The reaction is catalyzed by 5-enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate synthase. The 5-enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate is then converted to chorismate by the enzyme chorismate synthase. Thus, it results in the formation of chorismate, which is the first branch point for the synthesis of tryptophan, phenylalanine and tyrosine. The biosynthesis of tryptophan starts from this chorismate in bacteria and plants. In the first step, the chorismate is converted to anthranilate by the enzyme anthranilate synthase. Glutamine serves as a donor of nitrogen. This nitrogen will later become the part of the indole ring. In the next step, this anthranilate, it combines with PRPP in the reaction catalyzed by anthranilate phosphoribosyl transferase to form n 5 prime phosphoribosyl anthranilate. The indole ring of tryptophan is derived from the ring carbons, the amino group of anthranilate and the two carbons of PRPP. This intermediate compound undergoes isomerization in the presence of n 5 prime phosphoribosyl anthranilate isomerase, forming enol 1O carboxyphenyl amino 1 deoxyribulose phosphate. This is then acted upon by indol 3 glycerol phosphate synthase. With the removal of water and carbon dioxide, there is a formation of indol 3 glycerol phosphate. The final step in the reaction is catalyzed by tryptophan synthase. This enzyme has two subunits that is alpha and beta subunits. The two alpha subunits catalyze the reaction 
of converting indole three glycerol phosphate into indole and glyceraldehyde three phosphate. In the next step, catalyzed by the two beta subunits, indole plus serine forms tryptophan and water. Thus, there is formation of tryptophan from chorismate. The biosynthesis of phenylalanine and tyrosine from chorismate in bacteria and plants is much simpler than the synthesis of tryptophan. In the first step, the chorismate is acted upon by chorismate mutase to form prefenate. Prefenate is a common intermediate for formation of both tyrosine and phenylalanine. In the tyrosine branch, the prefenate is acted upon by prefenate dehydrogenase. It catalyzes the oxidative decarboxylation of prefenate, where NAD plus is converted to NADH and H plus and with removal of CO2 results in the formation of 4-hydroxyphenyl pyruvate. This then undergoes a reaction catalyzed by amino transferase, which catalyzes the transfer of amino group from glutamate to 4-hydroxyphenyl pyruvate forming tyrosine. In the phenylalanine branch, starting from prefenate, it is acted upon by prefenate dehydratase. With the removal of CO2 and OH-, it forms phenyl pyruvate. This is then acted upon by amino transferase, which transfers the amino group from glutamate to phenyl pyruvate, forming phenylalanine.